What is up guys and welcome to another video review and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen SS52 Chromia, Alita 1, and RC. And before we take a look at these sisters themselves we must first take a look at all of their accessories. Now first up we have RC stand. It is just cast in a nice light gray plastic. These are for robot modes so I'm not too concerned about these. You can tell it's RC's because it's the widest and she has the two tire. Um, this one's gonna be for Chromia. Uh, it's the it's technically the thinnest and also, uh, let's be real here. Alita has a, a thing on the side of one of her wheels. This is not gonna be hers. <laughs> um, and then you have Alita's. You can tell it's Alita's because this clip, this section uh, clips in. To the other side of the tire this side of the tire uh, with the spike coming out of it is going to be on this side and then we have accessories that are not the right color for their characters so i don't know who this goes to <laughs> um rc i think <laughs> um or I, I don't know um this goes to chromia i think no fucking clue what it is. Um, and then this, which I know for sure goes to RC. Uh, why is it blue? I don't know. I don't care. But that's about it for the accessories. So let's take a look at the girls on the review table. And here we have the triplets right in the frame. And first taking a look at RC, you can see uh, these are small. These are core class sized figures kind of so for uh details you got some silver for the windshield and then some silver for the uh headlights just a bunch of mechanical detailing and some pink all over the place some black for the tires and silver in those rims you got some black for the seat and then some silver for the exhaust nothing too much on this side and then looking at alita one you got some silver for the uh, headlights and for the um, windshield. Uh, some black and silver for these tires and these ones spout really well as well. Um, you got some uh, silver for a gas can and some black for the seat right there. Uh, this one is probably my favorite of all three of them. Uh, she's ju she just feels the best and she has the most coherent motorcycle mode, which I really appreciate. And then taking a look at Chromia, who has the most uh, paint on all of the girls. Uh, you got some silver uh, right here for the spoke on the bike, you, black and silver for the tire and the rim, some uh, silver for the mechanical detailing, some silver for uh, the back tire as well, and, so, and some for the exhaust ports, some more mechanical detailing. And then you also have for the uh, lights, as well as the grill side sections on her, silver, black for the seat, and silver for the gas can. Now, that's about it for these girls in their bike modes. So let's get some size comparisons in here and see how they scale up. And leaving these girls right where they are because I don't feel like moving them, here we have them next to a couple of other original trilogy characters such as the Revenge of the Fallen Jolt, as well as the Dark of the Moon, Dino. And now that we've taken a look at them in vehicle mode, let's get these girls from looking like this to looking like this. And here we have the three sisters in their robot modes. Now first taking a look at RC, let's just take the stand out of her. You can see some nice sculpted detail. All three, I do have one uh, major gripe with all these. And, uh, it's all the same head. All the same head sculpt. Uh, unfortunate, yes. Uh, stupid, yes. Could have used the core class budget, absolutely. But you can see you got the main part of the motorcycle for her shoulder pad. Some nice sculpted detail for her, uh, arms. Some nice pink paint for her chest and some silver and blue for the eyes and face. And that's about all. Everything else is just sculpt work. No more paint work. Uh, that's where I think these guys really could use the core class budget. But you, the head is on a ball joint. Can look up. 
can look up that far and down that far. Arm is on a ball joint. Can go out that far, in that far. Uh, elbow is also on a ball joint. Uh, this arm is also the uh, same way. Uh, you do have a ball joint for the first joint, and then you just have a mushroom peg joint there and a hinge joint for those two. And obviously no legs since it's she's on tires, but that's it for RC. Now taking a look at Chromia, you'd see same thing, same head sculpt, blue and silver for the eyes, blue for the chest, some silver on that uh, abdominal section, and then just a, a vehicle mode just there. Same articulation, only hers is kind of stumped by the gun arm, so it can uh, go, only go in that far, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this arm is uh, can only go out that far because of uh, what would be the um, drop stand for the vehicle mode. Ball joint, hinge joint, and that's about it. The head can also do the same things as RC, obviously, because they're the same head sculpt, so... Yep. And then taking a look at Alita 1, we'll keep the stand on her since hers actually likes to stay on. Uh, you can see same head sculpt with some silver, or gunmetal actually for this one, and blue for the eyes. Gunmetal for the chest, the back of the vehicle mode right there. Uh, nice mechanical detailing for the claw hand, can go out that far, in that far, and a little over 90 at the uh, elbow. Uh, you got a nice purple... Uh, spike uh, shoulder spike there uh and then the wheel arm obviously has the articulation of the wheel uh has a little bit of a uh, bend got ball joint and then a hinge joint or a mushroom peg joint and then you have the hinge joint at the base so that's about it for articulation on these girls so Let's get some other characters in here and see how they scale up. And for comparison, here we have the girls next to the Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Jolt, as well as the Human Alliance skids. And here we have them next to the Recon Ironhide, as well as my custom Fall of Cybertron Skywarp. And that's about all I have to say about the Transformers Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen, Alita 1, Chromia, and RC. The, the figures are really lacking in the paint department due to their deluxe class budget instead of the core class budget. I hope Hasbro decides to take another crack at these because I think that while these guys are okay for right now, I think if Hasbro takes another chance with them and gives them a little bit extra paint, a little extra care and attention, we can have the definitive version of these girls in the proper scale. And then we can just move on with our lives. But I, in the description down below, I will leave a link down where you can get these girls if I can find one that's not a third-party seller. And until next time, guys, if you like this video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and here's your second reminder to please leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video review. Bye!